Hi guys, uh, I debated whether or not I wanted to do a full length video on this uh, because it's so different from what my channel is, but I am a huge James Bond fan, so I kind of wanted to get this off my chest. Um, I went and saw No Time to Die a couple days ago, I've had a couple days to marinate on it, and I will say that I did really, really like the movie. I do highly recommend it. Um, however, there are some issues that I have with it. And uh, to try to keep this short and sweet, I thought the acting was great. I thought the direction was great. Uh, the music was a little, eh, at times. Uh, I wasn't fully sold on Hans Zimmer to begin with, and the music was okay. But the... The main issues I have with the movie uh, kind of center around the villain, his scheme. Um, I didn't think that was fleshed out enough. Uh, I thought it was very, uh, you know, at first you kind of get what he's all about and, and you understand what he's doing. But then when it, when it gets to the end, um, I feel like they were kind of rushing it along because it is a long movie. Um, and, and I feel like they were just trying to rush to the end. Uh, the first two thirds, however, are fantastic in my opinion. The opening pre-title sequence is damn near like a horror movie to me. Like I loved it. Like it, 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 it was almost scaring me <laughs> to a degree. Like, like not like literally scaring me, but if you see the movie, you'll understand what I mean. Like it's, it's a very chilling opening, especially for a Bond movie. But, uh, yeah, it, the movie was good. Uh, but there are issues with it, um, and I'm not going to try to get into spoilers with it now. I'll maybe save that for a later video. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I, I liked it. It wasn't perfect, though, and, and it wasn't great. And I don't know where exactly I would put it uh, in the grand scheme of Bond movies. It's certainly not at the top. It's not at the bottom. It's right now. It's sitting in the middle, and uh, after some time and some processing, uh, it'll probably be a little bit more cemented in a spot uh, moving forward. But I do recommend people go and see the movie. Uh, it is good. Uh, I do think you'll enjoy it. Uh, but it does have its flaws, unfortunately, and a lot of them do come towards the end where I feel like they're trying to wrap up not only Craig's tenure as Bond, but also the, the, the plot itself. Uh, it, it, it seems like they just, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, it seems like things just kind of were muddled and it just kind of sputtered out. Uh, I, I can't, off the top of my head and off the cuff, can't think of a better way to explain it other than it just sort of pitters out uh, but I still, like I said, I still really liked it. I still recommend it. Uh, so yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, this is my first kind of short video on YouTube and, and I just wanted to get my feelings out there. Uh, so like I said, I'll probably come back maybe eventually, maybe once the DVD comes out, I'll come back and do a full length, uh, sort of dive into it. Uh, things I really liked. Things that I, I I didn't really care for. Um, if you have seen the movie, uh, please post your comments below. Keep, please keep them spoiler free because there are a lot of people who have not seen the movie yet. But uh, sorry for a little bit of the shakeup with with this because normally I am a horror movie channel, but I am such a big Bond fan that I just wanted to kind of get my feelings out there on the record on my channel. So you know because I've done videos before in the past. But anyways. Um, uh, yeah, sorry this isn't the most well-produced video. Uh, I was out running errands, and I kind of just wanted to get this off my chest. So uh, I, I apologize for the candidness of it. Uh, if I'm stumbling through, rambling through a, a lot of uh, what I'm saying. But, uh, yeah, this, uh, I may do this in the future. If you guys like this sort of thing, I may do this for theatrical releases. Uh, to kind of just get my immediate thoughts out there, then maybe come back and do a uh, a more in-depth review later on. Uh, let me know in, in, in the comment section below if you like that, if you would like me to do more of that or more of this. 
um, instead of something that's fully on produced, you know, in front of my set with the lights and everything. And uh, so, yeah, uh, maybe this can be a thing. Uh, we'll see. But anyways, take care. And even though I am sitting in my car in a Walmart parking lot, still GTFO.